Justice Moore here bringing you some more Seven Days to Die. Now, I was so excited to play Alpha 14 that even though I had a bunch going on in the house, uh, precluding me from kind of talking and playing at the same time, uh, I wanted to keep playing. I wanted to bring you guys, uh, see, uh, day three, and so I thought I would record and then just dub over it. So right now, uh, we got the video going at a two times speed, right? It's only going to be a little over uh, you know, 13 minutes long or so. Not a not a terrifically long video since we're going to run the whole thing at two times speed, but I figured you guys wouldn't want to miss out on anything. And then also, you know, maybe you guys will see some things uh, and learn. So so right now, what we're working on uh, is we're going to go and get that treasure, like I had mentioned earlier. Um, it didn't go quite as planned, and you guys will, will, will see what I mean. And, of course, super derp right there course always grab the top one and you guys can pause it and then see the the text as i'm typing to you guys um too uh awesome cave system right there um need to make sure to come back and check that out later uh really need to find water so while we're out here we're also looking for um a, a lake or a river or something more than just a little pool i mean a little pool would be great but i don't want to stop and set up shop until we find a big source of water and so i'm not really going to be able to build anything oh here we go leveling up and so we do pick quality joe perk which is awesome and i also love all the little sounds that they gave to a lot of the actions i feel like it added a lot of uh no oh, depth or immersion you guys can 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 pick which adjective to to use there i just really like it it seems to have added a lot so we're coming up here on where my compass says the treasure is but here's the problem, guys, is it's not like there's a big X that says, hey, the treasure is here. There's also not any kind of recently disturbed dirt pile or anything that I could really see. So, and the best tech I have right now is crappy stone shovels. So we kind of just pick voxels that aren't adjacent to each other to try and expose the most subsurface area as possible and uh, we just go to town kind of like digging for the coffins only less rewarding ah <laughs> i could speed the, this part up even more for you um unfortunately guys I'll, I'll spoil it right now we don't find it um i do dig down as here and I start to dig down too deep, thinking, okay, well, maybe it's a little bit deeper. And we go through several several shovels, and we definitely level up, you know, mining skill, which is awesome. But I just, we don't find, we just don't find it. Um, I'm curious if anybody has found it. If so, please let me know in the comment section below. Please let me know if I'm doing anything wrong, not digging deep enough, not looking under the rock, which is something I had thought of at the time, but I didn't want to sit there and just dig out underneath the stone um, because it would just take so long with the pickaxe. Uh, here's me trying to align the middle of my arrow with where the treasure icon is on the map, but even then it still doesn't really work for me, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, other than this, Alpha 14's been treating me really good. Um, I've had a lot of luck with it. Um, I don't think that quality Joe perk took, though as I'm looking at it again, and then I notice it kind of playing later on. Um, so, you know, that would be unfortunate to waste, you know, 10 points, um, but that that's a part of playing alpha, I guess. Um, we had some problems with that last time, and that's just me being a total goofball with the mouse right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, alpha 14's been really good. Uh, and I'm so excited to play it that even though I have so much going on in the background, um, and it just wouldn't be feasible to record my voice and all the background, you know, sound too at the same time. So again, here I am just kind of dubbing over it. Um, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, the default difficulty, it seems really dialed in. It's the first time I've just hit default and hit go. It's a 30 day loot respawn time, which is just crazy. Um, so we're going to learn how to deal with that. Um, I missed the airdrop, so I think it should be coming up here soon. Yeah, it's 11.50 right now, so 12, I think. Oh, no, it's 11. Okay, there we go. So, I mean, I notice 
in the next episode that I didn't catch the airdrop on the third day every three days. Third day should have an airdrop. Um, so I'll also be, as I'm going back and dubbing over this, I'll be looking too to see if I can't scan the skyline just to catch a little glimpse of something. Now I spend most of this time with my nose in the ground, but we do break away eventually as I just get frustrated and kind of give up. Um, I was really hoping to find that for you guys to show you what it was all about, but unfortunately I'm just not able to. So again, if you guys know what I'm doing wrong, if I just didn't dig enough to just find its random location here, um, let me know. Or if I got to look for an identifying mark on the ground or something, let me know. But I did not see it anywhere. And so this is me thinking, okay, well, I'll just dig it out several layers. But I eventually realized how long it's going to take. Um, and it just, with day seven coming and us not being ready, I'm really leery to spend a whole day or two days trying to find this thing. Okay, so I didn't see anything in the horizon as I just looked. Um, trying to find the airdrop. Yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, that's too bad. Those airdrops every three days are just critical now to get. Also, I've got a bunch of dirt now, so I'm not real sure what to use it for. Um, I guess we can just build up a sacrificial dirt wall in front of the bars. Um, I've been roaming hoarded a couple times, so I think. And I thought maybe it might be underneath the stone there, so I thought I'd dig underneath of it, but no luck. Um, I've been roaming hoarded a few times now. And so I think I know which direction the regular horde will come from. You guys can, again, see all of my messages there. You can pause it and catch those and read those. Um, but we're going to head out here because I'm, again, worried about not finding any water. And then um, we just need more loot, guys. <laughs> you know, early on in this game, that's how it is. You need so much. Ah. Uh. Kind of cool seeing it two times speed though. How would you guys feel about like a building or a, or a plane montage just at, at you know sped up and then um, with a little bit of music dubbed over it? Um, oh, what's his name? There's another YouTuber that 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 does that quite a bit, and I've liked him. I'm sub to him. God, why can't I remember his name? This guy, toughest zombie ever to kill, apparently. Um, how, is that something you guys would enjoy watching? Just let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, good shot for me. Especially because the next ones are not very impressive. Oh, that's too bad. I need Rongo to teach me how to shoot. I think he's actually shot like that in real life. <laughs> uh, more corn. Again, just thinking ahead for the farm. Like, that was a really good shot there. So was that one. But that nurse, I guess, just invulnerable. <laughs> now, from out here, it looks like this building has an upstairs. But um, there's a secret loot in there. Don't forget it, guys. That water is a big find right there because I don't have any more. So then that's really what we're limited by. This looks like it has an upstairs, but... Um, I didn't see any stairs on how to get up there. I mean, does it just have a really tall ceiling in this one? That must. Yeah, because I didn't see a way up to an upstairs, so. And then from here, I figure it's getting late enough. I want to take, I want to try and finish getting the graves all looted up. Um. Oh, and then I realize I'm going super slow, and so I come in here and I look for some cloth, not seeing it. That just gets paper, which is great for shotguns, not so good for for splints. So we're going to go and look for some cotton to make some cloth. If you guys are new to the game, you'll see here two cotton plants equals one piece of cloth. And then I promptly turn it into a bandage, which I don't need, and then I get <laughs> angry and <laughs> shake the camera over it and so i need one more piece of cotton which i then find over there to the right yeah oh good times good times how are your guys' playthroughs going let me know in the comment section below post um post your videos if you can make them because i love seeing your guys' faces and builds i get so much um inspiration from it 
Uh, you guys are absolutely a creative bunch. And, um, and uh, or uh, screenshots. Shoot me links to screenshots. So from here, yeah, we're going to beeline it back. Our uh, leg is freshly healed. Um, again, getting lucky with some of the finds. Especially the food. Um, and again, it's, it's going to be 30 days before any of this stuff respawns. I doubt we'll even be in the area. Know what I mean? Like, I think we're going to uh, take care of the seven-day horde where we're at, but... Oh, that was a good shot too, right? I heard that wicked scream and I thought I had one right behind me. And again, there's that pause between using the items. You can't just spam chug all of them anymore. I think that was a bear. <laughs> and then I jumped like a rabbit for some reason. I, 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 don't, I don't know why. Nothing like a nice long stroll through the savanna, through the plains biome. I do like that they added the the cacti to it. Um, not only I, like I haven't seen the aloe, well, you know, strictly for the desert, but this does give us the fruit, which I don't ever take advantage of. Like I, I'm thinking of it as I'm playing, never use it. Um, I guess if things got desperate enough, I could. Uh, with enough yucca, you can make yucca juice, which is fairly hydrating, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure, like, I recall leaning on Yucca at some point in one of my playthroughs. These caves, awesome. Still got to explore some of those. Um, it just hasn't been quite the right time yet. I've gotten through a lot of these things, and I'm still learning how to type. And so we're going to spend some time here making sure that we thoroughly go through all of the graves. You can see it's starting to rain, which is nice. Um, you know, thanks for wet. And that's what that little funky little texture on the ground is. And these ones were offset just a little bit. It took me a few graves to kind of realize that they're all going to be like that. Um, and I don't think we got any stupendous loot from these guys. Yeah, not a whole lot. There's the Mad Mole um, headstone or, uh, you know, grave marker. Of course, when you're developing your own game, you can throw in all sorts of little things just like that. <laughs> um, so while I'm doing this, guys, you guys can watch this. I do want to take a moment and just thank everyone again for being so supportive during my break. Uh, it felt really good. Um, and uh, Mrs. Moore has stepped up and really helped out with uh, some of the editing. Um we're, you know, I think we're each editing about the same amount at this point. Um, but, uh, and that, that has helped it make it feel a lot less like, um, you know, for lack of a better word, work. You know what I mean? I already have a full-time job. I don't YouTube for a living. Um, or else I would be very thin. My family would be very thin. We would not eat very much. <laughs> uh, but thanks again for just being so supportive. Um. You guys really are the best. I have the best subs, period. <laughs> uh, and I think I about call it here. Um, the, the mausoleum here, if we had water here, this would be great. Um, but with that, guys, I think we're going to call the video here. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching tomorrow. Like I'm a little tight